Saludos from Ecuador. I'm Lexi. I'm Clifton. And on behalf of the Amazon Micro Renewal Project, we want to thank all of you who have contributed to our campaign and our project. And we just want to explain how far every little bit will go towards testing and further research in our system. So on that note, we want to keep everybody updated at home on exactly what we're doing and how we're approaching this system. And just to let y'all know, this is one video of many to come because our biofiltration system is a multifaceted um, project with many tanks. And each tank will have different variables in it that the water, that the contaminated water will flow through. And one of those tanks we're going to talk about right now is biochar. Biochar is essentially charcoal that was not burned through the combustion process. It was burned through a process called pyrolysis, which is when something is burned uh, in an environment lacking oxygen, therefore it never combusts. There's many uses of biochar, one of them being that since there's so much carbon that's stored into the biomass of the biochar, you can store it in the, in the soil, making it carbon negative versus combustion and CO2 into the atmosphere. And so one of those benefits is storing it and exchanging nutrients with your plants. And um, I hope this video might pique your interest, but that's not what we're talking about here today. Today we're talking about um, just two of the variables that we're testing in our system with the use of biochar, and one of those, we will be inoculating the biochar with compost tea. And compost tea is literally a tea of specific microbes that we've chosen based on their capabilities to decompose petroleum. And biochar provides this perfect environment for the microbes because it's super porous and it, it, it makes for a perfect home and housing to the microbes. And it's also, it also provides a lot of oxygen to keep the aerobic bacteria, which we're cultivating, um, alive versus anaerobic bacteria. And then our other variable that we're testing for is, is uninoculated biochar, biochar in, in its raw form. And with so much carbon in its biomass, it has the ability to, it has a really high cation exchange capacity which means that it can bind to a bunch of chemicals and metals that are in the contaminated water and filter it out before exiting the system. So with that being said, there's tons of different ways to make biochar, and there's tons of different uses for biochar. So, the reason we chose this design was because it's a multi-purpose system. Basically, we have a tube entering here, which meets an elbow inside and it creates a 90 degree angle and the tooth comes out here as well. In the elbow of the tooth, we have about 10 or 12 holes, about you know, the size of your pinky. Uh, where when the pyrolysis uh, process starts in here with the wood chips or whatever, the carbon-based matter that's inside, the gas that's created through the pyrolysis process can enter through those holes into the pipe where there's a fire burning via uh, wood being fed into here, and that combusts as well, giving up to twice the heat to use the area in the area from here. And uh, yeah, so in this tank, via this little door over here, goes the wood chips. This is where we put the fresh wood chips in, or you know, whatever, any crop grass, and things like this. Crop residue. That sort of stuff. Uh, goes in here, packed in fairly well, and then once the whole process is finished, we remove this as well, and out comes the biochar. And yeah, this thing gives off a lot of heat that can be used for what we will use it for mainly is pasteurization, yeah. and sterilization of substrates. So we like we. We chose this specific design because not only is it making biochar, but we can take that heat that's, that's making the biochar and redirect it for cooking purposes, um, be it for boiling water or cooking food, um, but especially in our case for pasteurizing and also sterilizing our substrates that we can later inoculate with the fungus um, 
that we're cultivating for the biofiltration system. So that's what's excellent about this setup. Um, and it was also all recycled material. It was all recycled material. This stuff was just going to be tossed somewhere. We saved it and made something really cool out of it. Basically, we're, we are still in the process of figuring out all of the logistics of the system and anyone who has any knowledge of biochar, please feel free to contact us and become part of this project in that way um, as, yeah, we need feedback. Anything to improve the system would be absolutely wonderful. Well, appreciate it. Mm -hmm. So thanks for popping in and thanks for donating. Thanks for all sharing. Thanks for watching. Thanks for caring. Thanks for, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we hope you are interested in more and do further research on your own. Gracias. Gracias. Shukra. Chokke shekule. Danke shu. Vala. Merci. Merci. Ashka pagarachu. Ashka pagarachu. Y toros. <laughs> Okay. So Thank stay, you. stay tuned in for more videos. Obrigado. Obrigado. Ciao. Ciao.